Hi guys, so my name is April. Um, yes, yeah, like the month April. Um, I have been wanting to start a beauty vlog channel. I have a normal vlog channel um, called Love Vlogging. Um, but I wanted to start a beauty one as well. So I am going to be doing my first beauty vlog. I would love for people to comment in the comment box below on some ideas you think I should use um, with blending, with contouring, with highlighting, with all of that. Because um, this is my first one, I'm doing it on my system um, just because it's a bit easier. I want to give myself enough time to learn how to do my makeup with the camera right there and position it and everything um, but yeah so this will be my first video I am using cheaper products to say so they're not very pigmented I do that because obviously I am scared that if I use a very pigment kind of color on my skin I'm going to mess up and then you know I've got to go out or something and I look like clown so I'm using less pigmented products just so I can build on to as much as is needed on there um, but yeah so I will have all the products that I'm using all the brushes that I'm using down below um, in the description for you guys um, this channel is going to be for um, beauty vlogging so doing makeup tutorials um, hopefully I'll get to a stage where I can do makeup for guests and like I'm doing that for my sister but more awesome guests um, also I'm going to be doing makeup hauls on here I would love to do PR unboxings on here I'm really hoping I get to that stage where I can receive some so if there's any PR companies out there that are thinking okay let's give her a try we'll give her some of our products I will be 100% honest with it and let you know everything that I think of the products um, I am watching some beauty vloggers now uh, I got Jacqueline Hill that I'm watching I've got Kelly Stark that I'm watching um, there's just two that I've found so long and I'm just really enjoying their stuff. I've watched almost everything of theirs now to catch up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be looking at more of them, doing more research on all of this. Um, also, I'd like to have this channel as a um, clothing haul as well, I'll do on here. And so yeah, it's everything to do with beauty, hair, makeup, clothes, all on this channel. My vlogging one is basically just vlogging of what I do every day. Um, and I'll put challenges on there as well. But yeah, so let's get straight to that video and you can have a look and please criticize me. People don't ask for that. It's the strangest thing to ask for criticism. But criticism, yes, criticism. Oh, and I said it wrong again. Okay, so you know the word. Um, but I wanted, I want to learn, even with this video, I know I'm very nervous. I can feel it, I can see it. I'm very bubbly in person in person and stuff um, so I mean I'm very crazy and stuff you'll probably see that in future videos coming up you'll see my personality come out more I've just got to get a little more used to this I mean the vlogging I stopped for a while because I was just I was like oh my personality is just not shining through on these and it's just not me I want it to be me so I've been working on myself a bit so please but now let's get straight into the video this is my sister one that I'm going to be doing the makeup look for um, as I said in the intro this is my first one so please leave comments below critique me on how I'm doing everything I do want to learn I am trying to learn um, obviously we've prepped the face we've cleaned it from any old makeup that might have been on there the neck as well um, I'm gonna go in now with my color trends primer from Avon picture perfect face primer so that's the one I'm going to be priming her face with. Okay, when I prime, I just use my hands.
Then I'm going to go in with the Avon Ideal Shade Natural Liquid Foundation in the shade Creamy Natural. So that's what that one looks like. Um, this one isn't a full coverage, so if you are looking for full coverage, I wouldn't go over with this. But if you are starting out with makeup, excuse me, sorry, my dog. If you are starting out with makeup, maybe this is a better idea for you if you're too scared to mess up your makeup. This is why I'm using Cheaper Brands at the moment. Okay, this bottle is horrible because it's just like nothing, no pump, nothing, no brush. So you've got to really just try and get this stuff out. Which I'm just going to try and actually get in the lid. Let's try that. Okay, I know this is a blush brush, but I've been using it to pack on the foundation, especially because I have a lot of pores when I use this brush, and also because she's got texture, it's gonna pack it in nicely. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with the Avon Cosmetics uh, Smooth Material. It is a setting powder, but doesn't say it on here, but anyway, smooth material and the color ivory. So that's what I'm going to use. And then I'm going back in with the same brush that I used for the foundation earlier. I'm actually just going to, after that beauty blender, I just want to use this. Okay, now I'm going to go in and do the brows with the, sorry, I've used this quite a bit, it's very small using the Essence Brow Pencil and here I know they don't really do very similar colors so if you find a dark brown like that that's the one I'm using Okay, now I'm going to go in with the eyes. I'm going to use two different palettes. Um, another one from Avon again. This is the Avon Cosmetics. It's the True Color Eyeshadow Quad. And it's called Barely There. And it just looks like this. Got the press button. It does come with one of these. I'm going to try and do this one handed. It comes with one of those. I don't really enjoy those so I'm just going to put that aside and it's just colors like that so you've got a matte white a matte it's a very pinky color but the camera's not picking it up but it is a very pinky color then you've got like a bit of a shimmer brown and a matte brown there so I'm using only the mattes from this palette here and then for my shimmers I'm going to be using the okay I know you shouldn't do this but we did this comes from China Mall, so excuse this. Trying to pronounce this, it was only seventeen rand. So seven rand. Seven rand. It was only seven rand. So very affordable, and it's very pigmented and very nice and everything. So I have nothing against it. It's just uh, it's called Kiai Yinyu Eyeshadow Professional Makeup Artist. I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to show you there. That is what it is called and I hope this video doesn't come up with everything being off so that's going to suck. Um, this is eyeshadow that's all it says and number four so now this is very shimmery colors um, we've got quite a few they're all in the browns but that is what that palette there looks like so that's what I'll be using for the shimmers all of them there are shimmers and that's why I needed this palette for the mattes this brush over here um, but I'm going to use this just to line the eye with some white 
just to again the stuff falls out so if you don't enjoy that you might have to get a different palette but this stuff is however a little more pigmented than some of the other makeup I use so I do like to pat it out quite a bit and then just bold with it but for now I'm just taking the white just to line the lid all over that looks like that and I'm going to go in with this pink color just on the crease of the eye and I'm just knocking my glasses sorry about that okay this I might want it a bit more excuse me, pigmented so I'm not going to tap it as much but also at the same time I don't want it falling all over the place so I'm just going to put that there blend it a bit. I'm just going to blend it as much as I can in the corner on the crease there and pull that through So as I'm blending, you can see it, you can't see it too much on the camera, I notice, but as I'm blending out, it is covering majority of your eyelid, which is fine. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the brown color that is over here. It has got a slight bit of shimmer, but at least it's not too much as the palette I have there, so it should work fine. And I'm just going to put it in the corner. This. To pack the bottom eyelid with this product. Now, normally I do when I use this kind of shimmery shade, I will wait the brush a bit to pack it on. But as I said, I've got other shimmers, so I want to just use the brush dry. And I'm just gonna pack that on the bottom. I'm going to use this. I use this brush here. It's the one with the tip on it and I'm going to wet this brush a bit and I'm going to go in with this color right over here so it's this darkish brown here and I'm going to use a wet brush because it's shimmered and I want that to show on the eyelids and I'm just going to pack that on the middle there I'm just going to take that and I'm going to go a little through to where I blended that dark color. Now with the same brush, obviously cleaned and wet, I'm going to go in with the open palette. I'm going to go in with zip. There we go. This color here. So I'm going to go with. It's a very peachy skin colored tone that I suck like at explaining colors but there we go I'm going to put that on the inner part of the eyelid like that I am then going to use my essence pencil long lasting range um, this is in the color black fever number one it is one of the wind up ones which I like because they're a lot more premium. Again, not as pigmented, but still black enough for you to see it. And I am just going to go on top of the eyelid. go in with my essence volume styled lash extension mascara um, this one is also just a black shade black shade I'm black I guess um, but this is what this one looks like it is only 18 hours so if you're looking for something more I wouldn't use this one sorry the light was in the way there 
and we're just gonna go over with this I do want the long looking lashes for this eye because of the bold colors we have on the eyelash I am now gonna go in with this brush and I'm gonna be using my Avon True Color Soft Plum Blush and that just looks like this. It's got a bit of a purple undertone on this um, but at the same time it's got a bit of pink but I'd say it's more of a purple undertone and I'm guessing that's where they got plum from but on the camera you can't see it as well but it almost looks lavender with a bit of pink mixed in it but it's very pretty and it's got very very light amount of shimmer flakes in it so that just helps it to be a little more creamier which I'm actually lying about because that is dry as my grandma's neck So I'm just going to go on the apples of the cheeks with this. I'm blending it in. Then for the lips, I'm just going to be using, these are ones that I got out of a magazine. It's the Glamour magazine. So these are just called Glamour Lips. Both of them are just two different grammar lips. The one is more like a chubby stick and the other one is more just like a crayon type. They're both wind-ups. Yeah, but that is what they look like. I've been using them for a while, so the name is not on there. But they are glamour lips. So I'm just gonna go in with the lighter one, which is again, oh wait, here we go. Shade. No, no shades for these, unfortunately. But this one is a light creamy pink. This one is a bit more of a hot pink. So I'm gonna go in with a creamy pink first and just line those lips. Make the lips like tight. Like Then I'm just going to go over with the hot pink. Okay, so this is the finished look. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think.